Okay, so we're down at Coventry Track. It's the day before your British Champs 3K. Uh, just having a bit of a tune up, doing a couple of strides. You just done a 200 and a 100. Feeling alright? Yeah, done 200 and two 100s. Gonna do one more 200. Um, feeling good. Uh, been back in England five, five days, I think. Got back Monday morning. Um, so racing tomorrow, 3K, uh, British Champs, straight final, 12 guys. Um, it was originally going to be 18 guys, then it dropped down to 13 and now it's 12. So, um, strong field, really strong field, but um, feeling good going into it. Obviously, the last race in Boston wasn't an ideal one, but I think um, my body's been kind of recovering. I've been sleeping a lot this week, trying to get over the jet lag. It's only a five hour time difference, so it could be worse, but um, feeling good going into tomorrow. Going to do one more 200, probably um, 29, 30 um, ish, and then rest up today and be ready for a big one tomorrow. <sighs> race morning you've just had a quick shake out how are you feeling yeah not too bad um about six and a half hours out from racing right now um just did just under a mile um pretty slow pretty easy uh a couple of kind of like mini slow strides in there as in like quicker than shake out pace but slower than race pace um just to kind of wake the legs up a little bit um, but got plenty of time, just going to be chilling out today, probably eat now um, and then yeah, just relax for a couple of hours, heading out to the track um, in probably another three hours um, and yeah, looking forward to it. Um, it is a strong field, uh, it's definitely a winnable race though and time, even though I did want to get the European Indoor Qualifier, time is now um, irrelevant. I'm just going gonna be running to win basically um, so whatever that takes uh, I'll probably I'll just try and put myself in a good position kind of throughout the race hopefully somewhere near the front but um, we'll kind of see how how it plays out um, and then as the race kind of keeps going on um, hopefully I can work my way up and finish somewhere near the front that's the plan um, been feeling good obviously the last few days have been kind of interesting like post travel was ill kind of a week ago still feel like I'm a tiny little bit congested but um, I am completely fine uh, I'm in good shape I know I'm fit ready to go 744 is now three weeks ago and I've had a lot of good training since then so um, yeah today uh, looking forward to it it's a really good opportunity to um, race against some of the best guys in England and the UK um, and yeah, feeling good. Uh, so excited to race. First time racing indoor in England, so should be good. Go on, Axter.
So the two marks in issue here, 744, which marks Stark and Charles Hicks and Brown, and Kelly and Elko Mark, and 750.8, which has been run by Sam Hackley, James West, Josh Kerr, and Paul Jagro, Tom Key, and Scott Beatty. So the one in the lineup that has the time. Go on, Adam! We believe in the first one, James West in second. West with the quick man number as the leader on the uh, East Coast. Come on! 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 Come
great in races basically so 744 three weeks ago and then 807 a week and a half ago um, in Boston tried to run the qualifier and didn't um, and then came over for the UK champs um, thought I would be pretty good and ready to go but the whole week leading up I was kind of feeling like just tired and I, I don't want to use it as an excuse but it's it's just been really weird like I've never really had it before where I every easy run and every session I just feel like I'm working harder than I should be um, so I knew something wasn't quite right and then I had the same thing happen 400 in um, I think we went through in about 64 and then we were 418, 419 through the mile um, I just felt really worn out like I was like I was running really fast but I knew I wasn't and so I knew that those guys in a field at the UK champs were gonna have you know going through that relatively slowly I knew that people were gonna be able to close pretty hard and I knew that I didn't have the energy for it um, which was kind of frustrating but um, I had the exact same thing happen when I ran 8.07 uh, but it's been really weird because going through in 4.18, 4.19 at the UK Indoor Champs um, about 8 minute pace and I ended up running 8 minutes um, to come 6th it just felt so much harder than when, when I went through in 4.05 to run 7.44 3 weeks ago so um, yeah, I, I don't know, it was one of those days, uh, it's been, it, it's been a really good kind of period leading up to this of training and then obviously opening up with 7.44 three weeks ago, um, was really good and I thought I'd build on that and run faster and race well at the UK Indoor Champs but, um, yeah, it's just kind of been a rough few weeks since the good first race so um now i'm having a week off i'm gonna have a good few days of just no running at all hopefully that's all my body needs i mean i still feel just a little bit run down i've been sleeping a lot um i'm not really still sick maybe i've been a tiny bit under the weather but not not anything major it never was anything major but um yeah hopefully my body just needs a bit of a reset a few days off running um, and then it will be back at it for the outdoor season. Um, so with that, uh, I think there's a plan to do another altitude camp um, and then probably open up with some races in America and probably in Europe um, before racing again at the UK outdoor champs uh, that are in July. So yeah, not how I wanted uh, this weekend to go definitely not I thought on a good day I'd be right up there challenging for the win um, yeah funnily enough even if I had won because I didn't have the qualifier and now they've announced the team I may not have even been selected because I don't have a world ranking because for the 3k you have to run 5k's to get a world ranking so um, yeah uh, I don't know maybe I'd probably be more frustrated to have won and not being selected than I am now because running eight minutes and coming six, you kind of can understand why you wouldn't be selected. Um, so yeah, that's the way it goes. Uh, we'll be back for the outdoor season, um, just resting now, and then yeah, it'll be back at it, ready to go for um, some fast races in another couple of months. So. Thanks for watching, um, hopefully there'll be more fast races to come, um, just need a bit of a little few days off running and then yeah, we'll be back and ready to go, uh, ready for more for the outdoor season. See you then.